In this video, we'll be looking for custom views. Now, what exactly is a custom view? I'll just explain using a scenario. Suppose I'm a business development officer. I go to different clients for giving a presentation. It is not necessary for every client I should have the same presentation. So maybe I have 15 slides to be shown to the first client, next 20 slides to the second client. Maybe some slide might be common or different. So for that, I do not have to create different presentations. I can use the same presentation and I can hide the slides from it. So just for a better idea, I'll just use an example here. I have a one slide, one presentation here. There are almost 13 slides in the presentation. This presentation, I want to uh, present it to three clients, client A, client B, client C. So what I can do is if I just press uh, slideshow and if I go for from beginning, total 13 slides will be visible. So you can see, you can keep on count first slide, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's the sla last slide. So 13 slides are visible. Now what I want when I go for, a, go for a presentation to client A, I only want to show him three slides. I will not create a new presentation. Same presentation I'll use, right? How do I create it? So for that, that is known as customized view or you can name it as custom views. So what, for that, you have to go to the slideshow, custom views, custom slideshow, and I can click on custom show. Now it is totally blank. What I'll do is I'll create a new custom show here. It says you have total 13 slides, 13 slides. What slide do you want to show? So first thing is it says as custom show one. I'll name it as client one or say as client A, client A. For client A, I just want to show him three slides. Let's say I'll go for this first slide, second slide, third slide. So I'll show client A only three slides and I click on add. That's it. And I can click on OK. So that is client A. What about the client B? For client B, I want to show him five slides. So I'll just click on this new and I'll change the name here. I'll say as client B, client B, and I'll select five slides. Slide number one, two, three, four, and five. And I can click on uh, add and I can click on OK. So that is client A and client B. One more client, I'll click on this new and I can see as I want to add for client C. Client C. For this client, I'll just show the first slide and 10th slide, only two slides, not more than that. Click on add and click on OK. So this is how I created client A, client B, client C, three slides, five slides and two slides and I can click on close. Now, when I go for a presentation to client B, what should I do? I, what I'll do is I'll go to this slideshow, custom slideshow, and I can say I'm going to client B. So give me five slides. If you remember five slides for client B, click on client B. It has come into slideshow mode. Now you, you just count how many slides are there. This is the slide one, total five slides, slide two, slide three, four, five. And that is the end. So total five slides, I can show it to the place. So what I'm trying to say is you just carry one presentation, need not carry the different presentations. In one presentation, you can customize the slideshow, customize slideshow. So if you want to go for the client C, you just click on this client C. It comes in the presentation mode and you can see there are two slides. This is the first slide and that's the second slide. That's it. So total two slides are given here. You do not like, sometimes you want to add a few more slides to client C. What you can do is you can go to this custom slideshow and you see the last option that is custom shows. Again, you can click on that custom shows. You can select here client C and there are options available here as edit. So you can also edit, click on edit. You thought like I should add a few more slides to client C because it is required. So you can click on this two slides, click on add. So next time total four slides will be visible. Click on OK and you can just use the button here also as show from here also you can see same option so i'll just see the first slide and that's the second slide third and fourth so total four slides are given here in case if you do not like you want to delete the custom shows you can go to this place and use this custom shows so we have seen new and edit if you want to remove you can remove it and if you want to copy, you just copy it. So I'll just remove that. You see client A went away. I'll click on this remove client B also went away. You want to create a duplicate of client C, a customized view. So you can just click on copy, right? A copy of client C. Again, a copy of copy to of client C and so on. You can use it. 
So that's it. These are the available options and it is very useful. It will save your time for creating and I mean dividing the presentation when you go for different clients. I hope you like this video. That's all.